Hello, and here is uh, test 39 for good UI evidence, all fields versus progressive fields. It's for a blogging platform called Overblog, which Tail allowed us to, uh, to publish here and share. So thanks for that. We were trying to explore the idea of progressive disclosure on a signup page. And by progressive disclosure, I mean, um, instead of showing all fields, all three fields all at once, um, we first showed in the variation, showed just the one uh, email address field. And then as someone started typing, um, here's the other state, uh, the remaining two fields would expand. So not as overwhelming. And we're measuring deep signups, real signups uh, from a visit to the next page post validation. And we detected a 3.9 possible effect uh, we call it, we tag it as possible because it's not very strong, not just in its magnitude, not just not the amount, but also there's quite a bit of overlap with a pretty high p-value. Uh, so wouldn't take it uh, too, too, as, as too strong of a piece of evidence. And uh, so there's there might be something there, uh, but who knows? It could be also due to chance. At this point, I think I should also mention that the page was getting quite a bit of, uh, bot traffic so we had to do some uh, segmenting and in certain cases there's other variations which which actually point in the opposite direction so uh, yeah I would take this uh, as a, with a grain of salt um, a c interesting comparison could also be made to uh, to another similar test uh, that we run for another uh, on another project um, there was just a single field progressive disclosure. So up front here, um, there's the email address for a, for, for a, such, you know, a lead page. And then on the variation, we didn't show any field, but as someone clicked the button, the field would expand. That actually uh, pointed in the opposite direction. So both tests, um, you could think that they you know might cancel each other out, probably stronger tests are needed. Uh, but maybe there's something there. So um, yeah, just wanted to share uh, this test and maybe it'll inspire something. All right, thanks.